Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show the proof that how we get the maximum moment for a simply supported beam when there is a concentrated load of P acting at the center point of the beam of simply supported beam and the load is acting at L by 2 from the left in support and L by 2 from the right in support. It means this load is acting at the center point of the beam in this load is a load is a pointed or concentrated load it is a pointed or concentrated load there is no such uniformly distributed load so how to prove this maximum moment there are two methods the first one is more simple and easy method and the second one will be the a little bit complex method so in the first method is we know that there is a load of p acting at the center of the beam so of course half of the reaction half of the load will be transferred to this support and half of the load will be taken by this support. So this support will take P by 2 and also this support will also take P by 2 because the load is acting at the center of the beam. If the load is center of the beam then this is the case otherwise this would not be the case. For example if load acting at any, any other point for example here or here then this support will not be P by 2 it would be different. So, but it is acting at the center of the beam, that's why half of the load will be taken by this support and half will be taken by this support. It is support B and this, and this is A. So, in first method, it is very easy now to calculate the maximum moment. And the maximum moment, of course, will be at the center of the beam because the load acts at the center of the beam. So, to find out the moment at the center of the beam, the moment is equal to the force into moment arm. This is the way how to find out the moment. So moment is equal to force into moment arm. Now force, we know that P by 2 multiplying it with the moment arm. We want to find out the moment at the midpoint because the midpoint we will have maximum moment here maximum at the midpoint. So P by 2 is the load multiplying it with the distance where we want to find out the moment and this distance is L by 2. So here L by 2. So we find out the maximum moment which will occur at the midpoint. So equal to the PL by 4. So here we got our maximum moment. If draw, draw the left hand line. So here the maximum moment will be here at the midpoint. So here we have maximum moment for the load, concentrated load which is, will be equal to the PL by 4. Where P is the load, magnitude of load for example we have 2 kN load acting at the center of the beam. And L is the length of the beam. For example, it is 4 meter length. This whole length of the mid beam is 4 meter. So how to find the maximum moment? It is P L by 4. So P is 2 multiplying it with the L which is 4 meter dividing by 4. So we get here 2 kN meter. So 2 kN meter is the maximum moment here at the mid span of the beam. Now if I want to discuss the second method. It is a bit complex method here. So the second method to find out the maximum moment. So let's suppose this is support A and this is B. This is R A and this is R B. So I R B here. So I'm going to I'm going to find out the maximum moment. So now let's suppose the summation of moment at point B equal to zero, and clockwise moment is taken as positive and anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. So R A will create the moment about point B in the clockwise direction. Here we see in the clockwise direction. So it will be taken as positive. So R A multiplying it with the moment arm. Because moment is equal to the force multiplied with the moment arm. So force is R A. Moment R is from this point A up to B point which is L. And then again the force that creates the moment about point B. It is P. So minus P because it is in the clockwise direction about point B. So minus P multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm here is the distance from this point P up to B point which is L by 2. So summation of all the moments about point P equal to 0. Now if I shift this value R A is equal to this shift value into the right side. So it will become positive. So P L by 2 and here is L. Now if I simplify this equation so R A equal to P L by 2 dividing here by L. If I shift this value to the right side, so L will be cancelled, we got here P by 2. 
So here the support reaction is P by 2. So now what is the RB? So again summation of vertical force is equal to 0 and let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Now RA and RB are acting in upward direction. This is our sine assumption. So they are positive and minus P is acting downward. So summation of all the vertical forces is equal to 0. Now RA is known to us. So we have to find only RB. So RB is unknown to us. So if we shift this value to the right side, so it is P minus RA. So RB equal to the P minus P by 2 because RA is P by 2. So from here, RB comes out to be P by 2. If we solve this, so we get P by 2. So RB is also equal to the P by 2. Here P by 2. So now how to find out the moment? Simply again, we want to find out the moment at the midpoint, at the maximum point. So what we will do here, It is very simple again the same way. So to find out the moment at midpoint force into moment arm. Again force is P by 2 which is known to us. Multiplying it with the moment arm which is L by 2 at the midpoint. So here again we have P L by 4. So this is the maximum moment at the midpoint of the beam. Hope you guys understand how to derive this equation to find out the maximum bending moment at the mid span of the beam when there is a concentrated load. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.